Hi and welcome to another episode of Toby's Barbecue Corner. Today we're making ox cheeks braised in the Dutch oven with tagliatelle. Now what you need for it and how to do it, I'm going to show you in this episode. And this is what we need for today. Now obviously we need ox cheeks and that's roughly 2.4 kgs of lovely Irish ox cheeks. Now we need a bottle of strong red wine, a bottle of port. Now if you go with ruby, the sauce is gonna be a bit lighter. If you go vintage, it's going to be more intense. You need a set of root vegetables, some tomato paste, ketchup, cognac, some balsamic vinegar. You need veal or beef stock. You need some dark chocolate with at least 70% uh, cocoa content. You need salt, pepper, onion, bay leaves, some clarified butter, and obviously tagliatelle. In the first step, we're going to season the meat from all sides, and just to give you an impression of how big ox cheeks are, this is my hand, this is an ox cheek, so rather big. Anyways, so we're going to salt and pepper from both sides, and you can go pretty heavy on it, because obviously it's a big piece of meat and it can handle it. Now, in a second when I turn it around, you, were, you might ask the obvious question, as in, Toby, what's with all the stuff that's still on here? Now, I'm not going to worry about it. Obviously, you can take it off if you really want to, but I'm not going to because it's going to get braised later on anyways. So it will render down and it will just add to the flavor. So it's going to be absolutely fantastic. I'm absolutely positive about it. Um, obviously, this is not my recipe. The recipe is from a food blogger um, that I've heard of, and obviously I checked it out. Now I'm going to give you the name in a second because I don't have it off the top of my head but I'm going to season all the four pieces now and then we're almost ready to barbecue. Now with the soup vegetables it's rather easy because um, we're actually going to put the soup later on through a strainer. So all I've done is I've washed the vegetables but I'm not going to bother peeling them or giving them any kind of special treatment. Obviously you can cut off the end piece but um, as I said as we're going to put the sauce through a strainer um, later on. I'm not going to bother peeling any of these vegetables, so we're just going to cut them up so they can release their flavors. And that's about all we're going to do with them. The Dutch oven is nice and hot and we're using a small cast iron pot later on for the sauce. So we're going to throw in the butter, let that melt, and then we're going to give the ox cheeks a good sear. All right, and if your cast iron pot is nice and hot, it goes rather quickly, so let's give them a flip and give them a good sear from the other side. And then we're going to take them outside and put the other ones in. Well, the first two cheeks are done, so we're going to remove them, give uh, the Dutch oven a chance to go back up to a boil or to, to become hot again. And then we're going to put in this next set. And as I told you, I'm going to let you know where I got the recipe from. It's a lady called Astrid and she has a food blog. It's called Arthur's Daughter Cooks um, and she has fantastic stuff. And uh, yeah, if you have a chance, go check her out. And in with the next batch. The meat has sufficiently roasted, so we're going to take care of the vegetables. So we're just going to throw them in together with the onions. And we're going to give them a good sear as well. The vegetables have gotten a good sear and we're now going to add in the tomato paste. Give that a bit of a sear as well and then we're going to mix it all the way. The veggies are looking and smelling great, so we're now going to add our ox cheeks back inside. And 
And now we're going to add in the bay leaves and I like to use this little, uh, yeah, I don't know what you call it. <laughs> and now we're going to add our port as well as the red wine. And now we're going to do that three times. So we're going to do one third of the red wine now. And one third of the port. And then we're going to wait until that has cooked down. And then we're going to do that again. So do take your time, you know. There's really no point in rushing because you want to have all that great flavor. The first 20 minutes are up and um, we're going to add another third of the port as well as the red wine. Now in terms of time, now it works for me with 20 minutes. It might not work for you with 20 minutes. You, you have to see how long it takes for you, it depends on the size of the pot, how hot you have it, etc. So just make sure, you know, you obviously you want to reduce it as much as you can, um, but obviously you don't want to burn the vegetables. And in with the last bit, I'm gonna let that cook down probably another half an hour, and then we're going to add our stock. Half an hour later, it's looking fantastic. Now it's time to add the stock. I'm gonna bring it back up to a simmer. We're gonna close the lid and we're gonna cook it for three and a half hours at low heat, so roughly 120 degrees Celsius. About 11 minutes to go on the main cook. So we're going to take care of an ingredient we need for the sauce. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the ketchup, put it in this little cast iron pot. Add some of the tomato paste to it as well. And we're gonna give it a bit of a stir. And that would help later on with the sauce. We're gonna add the cognac. As well as the balsamic vinegar. I'm going to give it a good stir, make sure it all mixes nicely. We're going to, we're going to bring it back up to a boil and then we're going to remove it and um, let it cool down. Three and a half hours are up, so let's have a look. Nice. So what we're going to do now is we're going to remove the meat and then we're going to strain the sauce put it back in, reduce it a little bit, and then we're good to go. So, very gently, let's remove that meat. And it is extremely soft. Amazing. Even that big piece right here, I wasn't sure about it at first, but it's it feels extremely soft, so very nice. So let's remove our little tea holder, so to speak. That was the word I was looking for earlier. And now I'm gonna quickly strain this. Right, the sauce is reducing nicely, so what we're gonna do is we're going to add what we did in our little cast iron um, pan or the little skillet that I had with uh, the ketchup and uh, you know the cognac etc and then we're gonna put the chocolate in here to finish it off and guys if you could smell this this is absolutely delicious 
And now what I've done is I've actually cut up the meat into about uh, finger thick slices. We're gonna place it back inside, we're gonna close the lid, we're gonna let that steam for another 15 minutes. In the meantime, we're going to cook our tagliatelle and then we're good to go. Just be careful because some of that meat is already super soft that it doesn't fall apart. Especially the smaller pieces. They are absolutely tender, absolutely delicious. This was the big one, the big kahuna, so to speak. <laughs> nice. All right, here we go. They're going to soak up some of that sauce one time and we're almost ready to serve. All right guys, and there we have it, braised ox cheeks made in the Dutch oven with tagliatelle. I think it looks absolutely delicious, so we're gonna dig in now. All right guys, that's it for today. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video about the braised ox cheeks in the Dutch oven with tagliatelle. Now it was super delicious. They were, if there was a bone, it would be fall of the bone, but they were super tender. So yeah, if you did enjoy the video, I would appreciate a comment and a thumbs up. And please head over to that subscribe button for more great videos to come. And I hope to see you soon again at Toby's Barbecue Corner.